What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a League SBC video. EA released the J-League and the Bundesliga. Cristiano is the J-League guy, six foot tall, four star weak foot, high medium work rates, all good, right? Right. Attribute details, great sprint speed and acceleration, shot power, long shots, good. Finishing, not bad. Uh, dribbling and ball control is quite good, but he's got no balance and no composure. Uh, he's got decent enough stamina, 99 strength. This is going to be an interesting card, man. I, w I would love to get hold of him and play with him in game. We're not going to be doing him today. Oh, no. He is there. Um, so, of course, EA have released the J-League, SBC, and the Bundesliga. And quite like um, the MLS, which I still haven't done either. Uh, we'll do. I, I might do him for a video tomorrow, perhaps. If you want to see the Cristiano SBC done drop a thumbs up, um, but today we are going to be completing Tiago, the 91 rated. I have built all of the teams already. They're all done. I've got them all finished off. The Bundesliga SBC is going to be relatively cheap. Every single team is reasonably priced, and most of them have full gold squads. You can see here we've got some golds on the bench. They've got full gold squads. Uh, they're all common base cards, so you're looking at you know, maybe for a short period of time, they'll fluctuate in price. But generally speaking, they'll go back down. Even this team, you know, Bayer Leverkusen, I've got a couple of silvers in there, but you can get away with a full gold squad. And again, it's the, the full gold squads are the easiest ones. There's a few anomalies. Bayern Munich is one anomaly because you are going to need three of the 86 rated players. I've got Martinez, Muller and Ribéry. And outside of that, we've got a generally low rated squad and I've also got Bernat who's obviously mad expensive right now so this is going to be definitely the most expensive squad an 83 rated Bayern Munich team it's not going to be super cheap at all we are going to be turning that in for the mega pack which is obviously quite nice and Borussia Dortmund I thought this would be quite a tough one as well but this isn't this is easy plenty of gold cards again 79 rated only Cheap as chips, very easy to do, and you get for that a prime gold players pack. So the two the two biggest teams, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund, Munich might be expensive, but as I say, every single team that we're building, that we're turning in here, by the way, guys, if you could drop a thumbs up, if I didn't ask already, would be appreciated. Every single team that we're building here, every single team that we're seeing here, has a full complement, give or take, of gold players, which is going to make it very, very easy to complete them. I think there was one team, maybe Augsburg here, they've got a few silver. So Augsburg might be an expensive team just because they've got a high high amount of silver players. Um, but outside of that, there might be one more. But Schalke, there you go, a full gold team for Schalke. So they're going to be super cheap. Uh, we've got a full, I think it's a full gold team for Hamburg. We've got Diekmar at right back, but we could put Hahn there. Uh, as you can see there, it still gets 96 chemistry, 77 rated. So we get a full gold team for Hamburg. And uh, as we go down the list more and more, Hanover 96, this has got a fair few silvers in. There are a few extra goals that you can use. So Hanover might be one of those slightly more expensive teams. But I don't know what the true value of this SBC will cost. And it'll be interesting to see what Thiago's in-games are like as well. He's definitely a guy that I enjoyed last year. His team of the, year, team of the season last season was fantastic. Red Bull Leipzig as well, 74 rated team. That's crazy. With how many gold cards they've got for a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, very nice indeed. Freiburg, the next team, guys. This, again, is going to be another difficult one. But they've got so many silvers that it's going to be okay. Uh, we move down to Hoffenheim as well. Hoffenheim here is going to be a full gold team, so super cheap. So far, we've got Bayern that is going to be quite expensive just because you need some 86-rated players. And we've got three teams that have silvers required. Uh, some of them have silvers available, but not required. But yeah, three teams you might be looking at a little bit extra just because of the silver cards. And then the last two guys, we get Wolfsburg. We'll turn that in. That's another full gold team. And then last but not least, guys, Werder Bremen here. We've got a couple of uh, silvers in the team, but we can get away with golds again. They've got a full complement of gold cards if you do so need them. For completing this, we get ourselves... Tiago, the Bundesliga version, of course, and 22,500 coins. 91 rated Tiago, guys. Five star skill moves, three star weak foot. That is a sensational card. Uh, volleys and penalties, largely irrelevant. Long shots and shot power are nice. Attack positioning is good. That finishing reminds me a lot of Rui Costa. It's quite frustrating because he will miss some simple chances inside the box, but he'll score them outside the box. Passing is perfect, curve is good, vision is good. 
Crossing and free kick accuracy are largely negligible and relatively unimportant. Ball control, agility, balance, reactions, dribbling and composure are all great. His interceptions are pretty nice as well. His physicals are okay. Good jumping, good stamina, strength and aggression a little bit weak. What would I apply to this card? I'd probably apply some to boost his dribbling and shooting. Or if you love that pace, maybe an engine. Maybe pace, dribbling and passing. Just boost those up there. Keep that shooting as it is. That finishing is the only really sad part for Thiago's card. But generally speaking, for a 91 rated Thiago, that is a very, very nice card. Now, of course, guys, we get to go ahead and open all 18 packs that we got. I'm just going to do them in order. I'm not going to prioritize one over the other. Of course, one to watch cards, guys, are no longer in packs. We start off with a couple of shiny gold cards but is it going to be anything too good no we get ruiz and krykoviak there so nothing major in pack number one we also get another jumbo premium gold pack so we get plenty of jumbo premium gold packs a lot of 15k packs this might be one of those ones that's uh, really nice we do get a board out of this as well this might be one of those ones that's really nice to get like 15k packs for like four or five k we get an argentinian striker it's going to be icardi couldn't well it wouldn't have been higuain because he's in form right now could have been aguero but no not for us. Now, I will do, guys, as I say, I will do the J-League SBC later on today if you want to see it. I know a lot of YouTubers are going to be jumping on that first, which is why I decided to do Thiago, because that Cristiano card is going to be such a hype card. Everyone and their dog is going to get on it. So I wanted to bring you the card that no one's going to do, and that's where we're at right now. We get Idrissa Gay in the next 15k pack. Not bad at all. Nice Otamendi. Oh, a lot of Premier League players in there. Otamendi, Chicharito. Pretty decent return so far. Another Jumbo Premium Gold Pack to come, guys. We're getting into the meat of these packs already. We're going to get another board. No board out of this one. Let's skip through straight away and move on to the next pack. Let's just send those into the clubs. I, I will, ooh, Gabriel Hayes. Oh, I suppose nowadays it's only about 5K. He's not really a major pull anymore. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack uh, again, guys. Let's see what we can get out of this pack are we going to get anything decent we do get ourselves another board player out of this one we've been all right with the pack so far a few boards a good player portuguese cdm no cristiano ronaldo for us not in that pack we're going to get ourselves carvalho i believe or maybe it's Pereira. it was carvalho sanchez and graniero can go up to the trade pile discard those remaining items and move on to the mega pack guys here we go this is a big pack let's hope for an inform out of this pack see if we've got some luck not even a board, guys. Not even a board out of the Mega Pack. So the best pack so far has yielded the uh, probably the worst reward. We get Semedo in there. I suppose that's okay. Uh, we've got a few players that will pop up to the trade pile right there. We'll discard those remaining items and move on to the Premium Gold Players Pack. And in the Premium Gold Players Pack, we have got no board again. So our pack luck's not on top tier at the moment, guys, sadly. See what we get out of this, though. Fernandez. Oh, we get a silver there. That's pretty bad. 11 packs to go, another premium gold players pack, and then we're going to move on to the prime gold players pack. Hopefully we can get a board out of one of these two. No board in the next premium gold player pack, so another 25k pack down the drain. We'll send those into the club, we'll send the duplicates up to the trade pile. I don't know how much this SBC cost me, right, because I had it pre-built. I tweeted out last night that Cristiano and Thiago were going to be the SBC, so I went and bought all the players last night. I was prepared for this. I, play, I paid close to bottom dollar for them. I don't know what the J-League players are going to be in terms of value. I don't know how expensive or how cheap they're going to be. I don't have many in this club, sadly, because uh, I don't open enough bronze and silver packs. We do get ourselves, finally, another board. Can we get ourselves a decent player? Spanish. Cam. It's Juan Mata. A nice 4 to 5k player there. Nice be, uh, be nice to get some coins back again. Uh, we get Sanchez as well, just not the Sanchez that we want. Of course, it'd be nice now to pack the base gold card of Aubameyang and Alexis Sanchez now that they're no longer ones to watch. We can get a transferred version of those potentially, uh, although not in this pack. I don't even think we got a shiny gold player in that pack. What even was that pack? That was pretty sad. Um, we didn't get a shiny gold player in that. We got four bronze, four silver, four golds, and we got four shiny, uh, well, no, no shiny gold, should I say. Seven packs remaining for this video if my... Jesus Christ. There we go. Premium mixed players pack, guys. So 12 players, 4 gold, 3 rare in this one. No board in this one, although we are going to be getting ourselves a shiny gold card at least. It's going to be Murillo and then a lot of absolute nothingness. We'll send these guys up to the trade pile. Never know when they're going to come in handy. We've got 6 packs remaining, guys. 3 small prime gold player packs. 
a small rare gold player pack. Oh wow, three small. Whoa, they're they're pretty good packs, man. They're, like I like these mini packs. I've I've seen some really good things out of these. In the first one, we get nothing, sadly, no board. Our best player here today has been what? Juan Mata. We've had a couple of 84s. No special cards at all. No informs at all, sadly. Uh, small prime gold players pack again. Let me go into Footbin and see if we're looking at a price check already on these players. We get no board in this one either, sadly. Let's skip through that. So yeah, there's unfortunately at the moment, there is no price check on the J-League or the Bundesliga. Um, oh wait, I thought these had silver players. They don't. Well, they have five gold. You could potentially get one silver. Here we go with the next pack, guys. We're going to get anything decent out of this. No board out of this one either. Damn, man. These rewards have not been kind to me in the slightest. We get Victor Wanyama, another silver in there. Let's send those bad boys up to the trade pile. And that leaves three, essentially 50k, 25k packs. A small rare gold players pack, six players, five rare, no, six rare, five golds. So we're looking at like a 25k pack here. I've seen some great things be pulled out of these. We start with no board for us, sadly. <sighs> My well, pack luck just isn't on. We get Werner the Burner. We've got a couple of Bundesliga players there that I might be able to shift on for a decent amount of coins. Two more to go, guys, and then that is going to be us donezo for this league SBC right here. And we get a board. There we go. Come on, EA. Let's make it a good one. Godin? No, it's going to be Sule. Not Sule. Uh, Jimenez. Sule, of course, the Bayern guy. We get an 83 rated Jimenez. We did pack Suarez the other day, I do remember. Nathaniel Klein in there as well. Bataglia and a few other... Uh, no end players. And then last but not least, guys, to end off the Tiago here. Are we going to get anything good? No, we are not. So Tiago SBC complete. That is it done for us. We've got him in the club. Next on the list will, of course, be the Cristiano SBC to complete. If you want to see that Cristiano SBC today, drop a thumbs up on the video and we'll get it out for you a little bit later. Let's go and have a look one more time at that uh, Thiago in the club. Is he one of the top end players for me? I've got a lot of um, got a lot of these. There we go. So Thiago is going to be right there, guys. Medium, medium, three-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, and those are his in-game stats. Quite a good card. This is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.